My friends, today I'm going to show you what lookup tables or LUTs are and how you can use them to create really great looking photos with just one click. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria. And I want to thank all my Patreons to help me make these videos possible and support me. Thank you very much and let's get started. So here I'm on a page uh, where you, for example, can download free LUTs and LUTs are lookup tables and it's actually really simple. What it does is it compares all the colors in your pictures, every, pic uh, every color in there to a number in that list, which gives it another color. So it assigns, for example, red to brown and green to blue. So it just converts that kind of color. And this means that you get another look, as you can see here. This is uh, used a lot in video editing, for example, uh, for color grading. But you can also use it in photography. And you can find a lot of these um, pre-made files online to create a certain look. And now I will show you in Affinity Photo how you can use this. So we have this guy here. Um, I will, of course, link the video, uh, the, the photo source in the video description. And then we go just over here on the right side to adjustment layers and it says 3D LUTs. And this opens this little window with not much explanation about it. And there is two options there and that is load LUTs and infer LUTs. So we're going to look at the first option and that is load LUTs. So we click on that button and here we have these kind of files that we have downloaded from the internet. I will also link them in the video description. By the way, I'm not associated with this kind of company here. I just, it was the first result on Google for free LUTs. So there we go. So um, you can click on any of these. For, let's go with uh, Fusion 88. That sounds good. And you can see here, now we have a different look for the face. And of course, I can just click in here and open another one and this will create another look. And I can do this as often as I want until I'm happy. Uh, so this is really easy. And the cool thing is you can create super easily your own LUTs or LUTs, whatever you want to pronounce it. And the cool thing also is, is here, it says pronounce uh, at preset. So you can just click here and you give in a name, I don't know, uh, Burnt Sienna. You don't have to give the original name. You can just do anything you want. And now you wonder, where can I find these presets? Because the presets are often a little bit hidden in Affinity Photo. So I will delete this adjustment layer. We have the original um, photo back. And you go here to adjustments. And you can see here is a long list of different adjustments. And there is... Um, there are presets hidden in each of those. So you scroll down until you are here for a lot. And there you can see what we just have created, Burn Sienna. So I click at that and it applies it to the picture. Also opens the window, which we don't need, but we don't. Uh, we now have this effect. So you can add as many presets as you like and with one click create a super nice look for that. But we still have this um, second, the second adjustment here. So let's go back to 3D LUT. Uh, and it says infer. What is infer? And this is a really cool function because infer means that you don't need this LUT or LUT. You can do it from a photo, but what you need is the original picture and then the edited picture. So I will show you how to do that. Let's go over to another uh, photo. There we have another guy. And we will just do a crazy adjustment of that guy. So I will go into uh, the curves, for example. I will make it a little bit darker like this. So there we go. And then I go in here to the HSL adjustment. And I will just um, move this over so we will turn this guy into a smurf. There we go. Um, it's crazy. It's not really useful, but it is um, something where you can see that actually the picture is changing and this is what I want to show you. So um, now that we have created that, we can export this picture. There we go. So I will export this as a JPEG. That's important. I will call it altered. Altered. There we go. Okay. And then I turn off my adjustment. So we have the original picture again. I will export this also. 
I will just call this org for original. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we are doing, and now comes the magic. Look at that. Here's my adjustment. I will delete this real quick so we again see where it comes from. I click on adjustments. I select 3D LUT. There we go. And then I click on infer LUT. And I will select the original picture first. And then it opens again. And I will select the altered picture. And bam, the guy is a smurf, just like that. Two clicks and we have created our own LUT and we have applied it to the picture. And the cool thing is I can make this into a preset now. Uh, so I can just write smurfer or smurfing. Let's write smurfing, there we go. Okay, good. So let's close this, delete the adjustment layer. So we are back at the original picture. I go to my adjustments and there we have it, our smurfing. So with any other picture that we find, we can just click on that one click and bam, the guy's a smurf, just like that. And of course, uh, because it's a lookup table, this will change all the colors in the picture uh, depending on the source color and turning it into the new, uh, how can I say, the new color choice that's in this kind of LUT list. And in this case, you can see that the eyes of the guy are blue because they match his skin color, while over here, in the original picture, the guy already has blue eyes and so they don't match his skin color and this is why the lookup table does not apply to that area of his eyes here. Um, when we turn on our editing from before, you can see that his eyes didn't change the color, but here they did. And when I turn off the LUT, you can see the eyes are brown, the skin are brown, and this is why that happens. So you should know about that. But of course, you can always create a mask layer and just hide that. So let's create a mask layer here real quick. And I pull it onto my LUT adjustment. And now I will use a brush. Let's go to our basic brushes, round brush. I will set it, it's already at the color black make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And I can paint on here and you can see now I'm just hiding this adjustment. So his eyes are now again brown as they have been before. So as you can see, super easy to do, super useful. You can apply any kind of look you want to your picture and you can always go back in here and uh, load another uh, LUT setting. Let's go in here again. Just to show you, uh, let's take this Kobe um, look here and you can see, bam, it's applied to the picture. So you have the same look in the picture every time. So this can be a really nice uh, way to save different looks and to color grade your pictures. Okay, thank you very much for watching uh, this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial. If you like my videos, maybe subscribe to my channel. I do two tutorials per week. Thank you very much. Bye.